Hey, what's up guys? This is Gojiberry and today we're going to be looking at Warhammer Chaos Bane. And specifically, we're going to be looking at Alessa and Chaos 5 builds. So with this build today, this is the build I used to beat boss number 2, 3, and 4 on Chaos 5. And with this build, I can boost my character up to an attack of 242,000 damage. 571,000 defense at Chaos 5 and I'm gonna dive into this real quick and show you exactly what I did. So with Alyssa, Alyssa, what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a more tanky build, a more sustainable build and the way I did this is first of all on the God Tree I spec'd out the god tree on the right side. And I focused on getting the Queen's Wrath mastered skill. And I also focused on getting the Blessing of the Forest mastered skill. And I got these skills uh, because I was looking for a more sustainable build. I had a I had the left side of the tree spec'd and I was doing a lot of damage, but I was a glass cannon and any hit that I got whatsoever would absolutely just kill me. So I spec the right side of the tree. As far as gear, I went with the Eternal Queen set for heroic sets. And the reason I went with this set is because of the Toxic Aurora. I love this. I love this uh, bonus that this set gives. It allows me to grind through mobs and grind my fragments out and when I'm playing with friends it's very useful to have uh, I love it um, anything near me dies so really when I'm running these, uh, when these I'm running these greater relic maps uh, I'm literally just running through the map and killing nearby enemies as I run through it which is nice it makes grinding way faster so I wanted to keep this for my T5 or my Chaos 5 build and so I use the helmet, the tunic, the gauntlets, the tacits, and the boots. And I tried to ruin every single one of these pieces, if, you know, you can see to the right here, with 15% critical damage and 60 damage. And I ruined almost every set piece like that. When it comes to rings, I use the untamed ring. This allows me... Uh, to gain 30% increased damage when I get a critical hit and then I also used the ring of spirits and I love this ring uh, this one gives you 5% restored health and 5% energy gain when you crit so there's a chance to gain these two when you critical hit and I'm gonna be critical hitting as much as I can so this was a great ring for my build. As far as the Spring Talisman, that's what I use for this build. I actually ruined it with armor and maximum health. Um, you could probably switch this out for a better talisman. Uh, I don't think this really affects the build as far as I can tell. Um, you can probably switch this out for a talisman that gives you critical hit and come out looking a little better than I did in these videos um, but what this one does is every time you take a potion it reduces damage that is done to you by 30 percent for three seconds and the bow that I went for was the master archer bow and I'll tell you why is because with the queen set I have a skill that does massive damage and it actually runs around the map a couple of times, it bounces off of things, and I wanted to instantly drop the cooldown. Uh, that way I could use it more often, I would have more of these things come going around the map and damaging the boss. So I, I equipped the Master Archer Bow because when you crit, you have a chance to reduce any current cooldown which is nice so your healing spell or your attack spell either one when you crit it automatically is set to zero and you can use it 
right away, which is nice. Um, one of the biggest things for this build is health regen and this weapon right here. I use the executors and I use it because a percentage of health regeneration is added to my damage dealt. And, <clears throat> and if you look at this, um, so far it's got 324% damage. Now if I look at some of my passive skills like this, the a little AOE grass, and then my healing ring that I can put down. You can see that my base damage at the bottom jumps up to 242,000. And then my executor's bonus damage jumps up to 764% damage. I mean, that's insane. When I go over to my skill, um, my skill is actually at half a million damage for Spinning Blades Heroic, which is, this is the skill that the Queen's set gives you. Uh, and upgrades for you. So that's my build for this. Um, and that's the main skill that I use with this build. Um, as far as spells go, I use the Crippling Blade, which is poison and slows enemies. It regenerates a little bit of energy for you. And then I have the Elven Shot. This one's at rank 2 because I want the poison and the chance to slow enemies than the heroic spinning blades. This is my skill that I use as much as I can, as often as I can. Then I have a hungry roots, a poison trap. And I use this to, uh, to kind of do consi some consistent damage in between on enemies. Uh, if I have to kite them, I'll throw one of these down. And then the Queen's, Queen's Wrath Mastered. I use this spell, and this is a big one because it gives you the 13,000 health regeneration, which ups your damage because of that dagger. Um, the last spell I have is Living Roots. I use this because it explodes. It's, an, it's a poisonous explosion, so when I use this to an enemy that's close to me, the explosion adds with my aurora and it does almost like double damage but you could also switch this out in my opinion for a familiar or something like that and uh, probably take advantage of the uh, familiar passive for the dryads um, for my passive skills I have the guardian spirit mastered and this is where uh, you get regeneration energy from your familiar. And so this is, this is pretty important. And it reduces your damage taken also. The other passive that I have, which is in the God Skill Tree, which is health regeneration is increased, period. So I get 5,581 health regeneration flat. And then my third skill is health regeneration and critical hit chance are increased if no enemy is nearby so if i'm far enough away from the enemy i can get this bonus so these are the passives that i used and the skills that i used to be t5 bosses this is the equipment that i used and this is the god skill tree that i used so i hope this helps you out uh, after this, we're going to go take a look at the actual boss fights. They're going to be right after this. And if you like this build, if it works for you, if you have any questions, please comment below. And if you like content like this, please like and subscribe this video. That way more people can see it. And thank you very much. We'll see you next time.